Most AI music video tools say they can give you Hollywood level results, but honestly, most of them still can't deliver on their promise. You've probably seen those gorgeous demos on social media where everything flows perfectly, the lip sync is flawless, and the visuals match the beat. But then you try it yourself and suddenly your character looks different in every shot. The movements are unnatural and you're burning through your credits in minutes. I spent the last month testing every major AI music video generator out there, and what I discovered is going to save you hundreds of dollars and countless hours of frustration, because there's exactly one platform that actually delivers on what these tools promise, and it's probably not the one you think. In this video, I'm going to show you four of the most popular AI music video generators, break down what they're actually good at, and reveal which one gives you the professional results you're looking for. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave links to everything in the description below. We're looking at design in video, Tooney, and open art. They all promise to turn your music into amazing visuals, but the difference between their promos and the real results is pretty wild. Let's check out the report card and see which ones are actually worth your time. First is quality, because if your music video doesn't look good, nothing else really matters. This covers how clear the visuals are, how smooth the motion looks, and whether it's something you'd actually want to post. Next is character consistency, which means seeing if your character stays the same throughout the video or randomly changes halfway through. Then there's ease of use, because if a tool feels impossible to figure out, it's just not worth it. And finally, price and value, which looks at more than just the cost. The question is whether you're actually getting your money's worth. Let's see which tool comes out on top. Starting with quality, I tested Toonie first, and I need to be honest with you right from the start. The visuals feel outdated, the motion looks pretty bad, and it's more like watching a slideshow with transitions rather than an actual music video. I'm giving it one and a half stars because the quality just doesn't compete with what's available now. In video takes a completely different approach. It's built for creating narrative style content quickly using stock footage and AI generated B-roll. The results look good enough, but you're not working with consistent characters. It's more about creating concept videos or lyric videos with visuals that match the vibe. For what it does, it does well, so I'm giving it three and a half stars. Design is another popular tool. This platform is specifically built for creating product style content and music videos with a focus on visual effects. The visuals are clean, the lip sync is strong. The main downside with design for me is that you have to do every scene manually. So for the singing part, you need the lip sync function. As for other scenes you want in the music video, you need to create them with their text to video feature or image to video, and then compile the scenes after. The quality is definitely there, earning it three stars. Then we get to open art, and this is where everything just clicks. The character consistency is unmatched, the facial expressions are natural, the movements are realistic, and the lighting adapts beautifully to each scene. The results look like you hired a professional film crew. I'm giving it four and a half stars because the quality is stunning, though occasionally you might need to regenerate a scene or two to get it perfect. Moving on to character consistency, this is where most platforms completely fall apart. With Toonie, your character will look different in almost every scene. There's basically no consistency, so it gets one star. InVideo isn't really built for character-focused videos at all. If you want a specific character to be the star, this platform isn't designed for that, so it gets one and a half stars. Design does a pretty solid job here. You'll notice slight variations in the eyes, but overall your character stays recognizable. It earns three and a half stars, but open art absolutely dominates this category. It has a specific feature for creating consistent characters so they'll look the same in every single scene, whether they're singing into a microphone, playing an instrument, or just vibing with the music. The consistency is nearly perfect, giving it five stars. For ease of use, InVideo actually shines. You select a template, describe what you want, and it generates a complete video with scenes, transitions, and music all in one go. For creators who need fast results, it's honestly pretty convenient. 
I'm giving it four and a half stars. Toonie has this conversational interface where you can actually chat with the AI. It sounds cool in theory, but it doesn't make up for the poor results. It gets two and a half stars. Design requires you to understand how to piece everything together yourself. You're generating multiple clips separately and then editing them, which means more manual work. It gets three stars. Open art has a really good balance. The workflow is easy to use, but still gives you plenty of control. You can preview the storyboard, fix each scene, and make changes without starting from scratch. It does take a little time to learn everything though, so I give it four stars. Finally, let's talk about price and value. Toonie is affordable, but you're not getting value for what you pay. I'm giving it two stars. NVIDIA offers good value for what it does, earning four stars. Design sits in the mid-range pricing category and gets three and a half stars for decent value. Open art gives you the best value considering what you're getting. While other platforms charge you separately for character training, video generation, and editing tools, Open Art bundles everything together. Plans start at just $14 a month, which is less than what you'd pay for just one of the individual tools that Open Art replaces. It earns four and a half stars. Let's look at the final ratings. Toonie averages one and a half stars overall, which is really not that good. NVIDIA comes in at three stars. It's great for specific use cases, but not for character-driven music videos. Design scores two and a half stars and is a solid option if you're comfortable with editing. And open art leads with four and a half stars overall. It's the clear winner. Now that you've seen why open art is the best option, let me show you exactly how to use it to create your own professional music video. I'm going to walk you through the complete process from uploading your song to generating your final video. And I'll show you all the settings and features that make this tool so powerful. If you want to follow along, click the link in the description to open up OpenArt. When you log into OpenArt, you'll see the main homepage with several creative options. What we want is on the left side where it says Story. Click on that and you'll see different story types available. For music videos, we're clicking on Music Video right here. This opens up a dedicated workflow specifically designed for creating music video content. Before we jump in, I want to show you something cool. Open Art gives you four ways to make music videos, and each one does something different. There's singing video, which is the classic style with lip sync. Narrative video focuses on storytelling without the character singing. Visualizer makes abstract visuals that match your song's vibe. And lyrics video puts your lyrics on screen, kind of like karaoke. We'll focus on singing video for now since that's what most people use. Let's start with singing video. The first thing you'll see is a prompt to upload your music file. You can either paste a link directly from Suno AI if you generated your song there, or you can upload an audio file from your computer. One thing I love about OpenArt is that you can use songs up to five minutes long. Most platforms limit you to 30 or 60 seconds, but here you can create full length music videos without cutting your song into pieces. I'm going to upload this track I created. Once it's uploaded, you can click the play button to preview it and make sure it's the right file. Now comes the fun part, which is selecting your character. You have three options here. First, you can select a character from your library if you've already trained one. Second, you can browse the community library and use characters that other creators have made. And third, you can upload a custom image. Now, if you want to create a trained character that you can use over and over, let me show you how to do that first. Go back to the main OpenArt homepage and click on Character in the left menu. You can create a new character by typing how you want them to look like or uploading existing images. Give your character a name and OpenArt trains a model specifically for them in about 5 to 10 minutes. I've actually made a video dedicated to this if you want to check it out. Once it's done, you have a character that looks identical in every single generation. You can use them in music videos, regular videos, images, whatever you want. For this example, I've already trained a character, so I'm going to select her from my library. Her name is Zoe, and because she's a trained character, she'll look exactly the same throughout the entire music video. Below the character selection, you'll see a text box where you can describe the overall vibe and story of your music video. You don't need to write a lot here. Just give the AI a general direction. 
For example, I'll write, Zoe performing at an outdoor concert at sunset, singing passionately into a microphone. The atmosphere is energetic and emotional. This helps the AI understand the mood and setting for your video. Next, choose your aspect ratio. I'm going with 16 by 9 for this one. Now click on advanced options to see some really powerful settings. Include B-roll shots is huge. When this is turned on, the AI adds visual variety by including shots that aren't just your character singing. You'll get atmospheric scenes, close-ups of instruments, or environmental shots that make your video feel more cinematic. If you turn this off, every scene will be your character singing directly to the camera, which can feel repetitive. Match video to beat is also very useful. When enabled, each shot's length adapts to your song's rhythm so the video matches the music. I highly recommend keeping this on. Next, Show Captions adds lyrics as captions throughout the video. Great for lyric videos or if you want viewers to sing along, but I'm turning this off for now since I want a cleaner focus on the visuals you get to choose which AI models generate your images and videos. For the image model, I'm selecting character. This model produces incredibly realistic faces without that plastic AI look that some models have. Nano Banana is another great option here. For the video model, you can choose between Open Art Lip Sync and Hydra. Both are great, but I prefer Open Art Lip Sync because the facial movements look more natural and expressive. Before you spend credits generating the full video, click Preview Storyboard. This is such a smart feature because it will save you tons of money. The AI will generate all the still images for your music video first, showing you exactly what each scene will look like. This way, you can review everything, make changes to specific scenes, and ensure you're happy with the direction before committing to the full video generation. The preview takes about two to three minutes. Our preview is ready. On the left side, you'll see all your generated images in sequence. You can expand any image by clicking on it to see the full detail. If you're not happy with a specific image, you can click retry image image, and the AI will generate a new version. You can also manually edit the prompt for any scene to get exactly what you want. Make sure the images you want to use are checkmarked. The AI will use these selected images when generating your final video. On the right side, you can review the video prompts for each scene. These describe the camera movement and action that will happen. You can adjust these prompts if you want different movements or specific details. Once you're happy with your storyboard, click Generate Full Story. The AI takes each of your approved images and brings them to life with lip sync, natural movements, and smooth transitions. Because we're using lip sync, this process takes a bit longer than standard video generation, usually around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the length of your song, so I'll come back once it's done. Now that our video is ready, let's take a look. Sunset spilling on the dashboard Golden edges on your face Radio humming like it's half awake We're floating in a quiet place the character consistency is incredible. Zoe looks exactly the same in every scene, and the lip sync matches the lyrics beautifully. The lighting changes naturally between scenes, and the beat sync makes every transition feel intentional. Now, if there's a specific clip where the lip sync isn't quite perfect, you can fix it. Click edit the story, find the clip in the timeline, and click retry video for just that scene. You don't have to regenerate the entire video, just the part that needs improvement. Now, let me quickly show you the other three music video types because they're really useful for different situations. If you go back to the music video section, you'll see narrative video. This one's perfect when you want to tell a story through visuals without your character singing at the camera the whole time. You upload your music, select your character, and write a storyline. The difference is that instead of lip sync shots, you get cinematic scenes that follow a narrative. It's great for creating more artistic or emotional music videos where the story matters more than seeing someone sing. Next up is Visualizer, and this one's totally different. Instead of characters, it creates abstract or artistic visuals based on your music's vibe and lyrics. You upload your song, pick a visual style like pixel art, psychedelic, cyberpunk, or photorealistic, and the AI generates moving visuals that match the energy of your music. You can also write a custom style description if you want something specific. 
This is perfect for electronic music, ambient tracks, or any time you want something more experimental than a traditional music video. The visuals can be pretty random and abstract, so it's not great if you need something super controlled. But for creative projects or background visuals, it's really fun. And finally, there's lyrics video. This one puts your song lyrics on screen with animated graphics, kind of like what you'd see in karaoke videos or lyric videos on YouTube. You upload your music and the AI generates visuals with your lyrics appearing in sync with the song. Make sure to toggle on animate video, otherwise you'll just get static images with text. The AI tries to match the lyrics to what's being sung, but sometimes it gets words wrong or misspells things, so you'll want to check the preview and fix any mistakes before generating the full video. You can retry images and adjust prompts just like with the other video types. When you're happy with your music video, it's time to export. You can export the entire project by clicking the export button, and OpenArt will render your complete music video with all the scenes, transitions, and audio combined into one file. And that's it! You've just created a professional AI music video with consistent characters, beautiful visuals, and lip sync that actually works. So now you know exactly which AI music video generators are worth your time, and which ones are just hype. So if you're ready to create music videos that actually look professional, click the link in the description and try OpenArt for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.